Alrighty, I wanted to make a quick unboxing video for a Poche box that I bought on Amazon. I haven't seen any video reviews on it or anything like that, so um, yeah, let's get to it. I ordered this on the 6th of uh, July and it is the 12th, so this arrived in Portland, Oregon from the UK in six days. And um, to put that in perspective here, I ordered local. Um, toothpaste and um it was supposed to arrive a day uh, yesterday and it didn't show up even though it said delivered so it's got here even quicker this is probably the first time i ever got scared when i got the box i was like wait this is way too early but anyway so shipping um is great all right so <clears throat> right off the, the bat i just wanted to say i have a couple of these made handmade different sizes. I have a board that I've used. Uh, I usually go out and have um, a traveler um, notebook. I use this in my wallet forever, so I usually use that, but I wanted to order a specific shade box, a small one, um, specifically for solo hiking, not when I'm with anyone. When I'm with someone, I usually just carry my watercolor pencil and um, stuff like that, but this is fun for me if I'm driving to a specific point um, or hiking a specific point. Um, I'll just take this and some water with me. Um, so on the box, uh, it does say it has a hinge lid, which acts as an easel to hold two painting boards. It has a pallet attached to the lid, and it has a large um, space for dippers. It has a storage box, and which is easily removable, and yeah, carry handle detachable so shoulder strap. So. Looks like it has two sizes, <clears throat> 10 by 12 and 8 by 6. I got the 8 by 6. Okay, so the box looks perfectly fine. There's really nothing bad on it. The box is bent like that, but it just looks like when a box has been like this, usually from things on top of it. Um, so, but it doesn't look like it's been thrown around or dropped at all. There's no marks of the ground. I mishandle it in any way, except for uh, <clears throat> lots of pressure on top. There's nothing else in there, it looks like as soon as I open it, you just see the box. And I really, unfortunately, I can't really move my camera any higher, I'll try. There's nothing else in the box. So on examination, it looks great. Um, the wood can be finished. It's very light. It's not expensive wood. It's very cheap wood. <clears throat> like cigar box. So, oh by the way, this was only this was fifty dollars, fifty five dollars, less than fifty five. So, um, but actually, I have a, uh, I have a larger box, a metal ones or a Newton, and I swear to God, that thing is made of metal, so it's great, but it's like fifteen pounds with stuff in there. So, this is really really cheap, but it's really light. So, let's see how long this will last. The hinge is really good. Just, I don't know if it's plastic. Might just be plastics painted gold. Um, but, <clears throat> do the job very well. Okay, so right off the bat, I can see this is the handle. <clears throat> and you can put straps here to hold to hang from your shoulder and then from this side is where you unlock it to open up the, uh, the pochet box that slipped into place and um, it's a nice strap I can't tell if it's leather in this spot yeah it's leather <clears throat> And this opens up like so. I'm gonna move this back. I like my Winter Newton box. 
this has the same type of screws. The, the wood does feel soft as I tighten it, so and it does have a washer, so you can put a lot of tension, but it doesn't need a lot. And that's a lot of space <coughs> for um, panels, even more so than my Winsor Noon box. So let's get space for sure. This is going to be great because I um, I have a lot of finishing products and varnish that I'm going to try to use on this, including experimenting with the dryer. Um, so fast dryer. So we'll see how that works on this on this one. Um, so, oh, okay, it does come with a strap, so that's good. I mean, I guess it's real, it's brass around or something, I don't know, but it's tarnished, the metal, so, that's kind of cool, I like that, I don't mind it, it is what it is. Um, I have stainless steel cleaner, so, I can always clean it if I want. And so, when I take this out, I can definitely tell this is really, really cheap. Um... I mean, you can, I can bend it here, so finishing it will make it a little tougher, but, um, it's great, it's really lightweight, if this were to ever break, I can just buy a new one of these, and, um, mail it right back on, so it's easy to fix, but, I put this at the bottom, <clears throat> and, if you zoom up here, okay, you can see what, it's just that kind of cork board. So, <clears throat> I mean, the sides are pretty good. And they kind of, looks like they're kind of clipped in there. So, I think it's pretty sturdy when it's together. And it's lightweight when it's not. Um, so, <clears throat> it's a great size, and I can't wait to take it with me and try it out. I'm going to, this isn't a nick, by the way, this is actually in the wood. It's part of uh, the wood. So, there's no, it's smooth. Um, so I'm gonna, actually going to go apply finish to this. It'll be ready in about a week for another coating or so, and um, I'll review it soon, maybe in a few months, when I actually have a lot of use in it until it either wears out or breaks or both. And um, by then I'll have some good tips and stuff if I still think this is worth it or not, so I'll place a review on it no matter what. But so far, I think if you're careful, if you're careful with it, <clears throat> it's lightweight for the pochade. It's very thin. You can put a mount on here, but you need to put something supportive because it's just cork board. But it was 50 bucks, so I think it's cute. I think it's kind of worth it, but we'll see.